Good day! I am Aisrin, and as the last thing of the military quarter, am I going to beat the two class challenges. One being the Shaman, which is going to give me the reincarnate card, which is something that you already saw back in the other boss fights, that it has some quite nasty combos actually. So I very interested actually to see what, what other people may come up with on the ladder. But on the other hand, I'm also a little bit afraid to play against them. Okay, what do we get first? We get a Nerubian Egg. I like that. The other two are a little bit too much mana to keep in your starting hand. So, we get another Nerubian Egg and a Reincarnate, which is perfect for this thing. I mean, we take the Nerubian Egg and then we incarnate it turn afterwards and we got pretty much a great combo going. And Gothic does nothing for his first turn either, so an Ubin Egg, end our turn. Coins, and three mana, is he playing an unrelenting warrior? Okay, well we can kill that with the 4-4 we get from this Nubian Egg, so we incarnate. There we go, and we get another egg, we end our turn, we have some lighting storms that cannot kill anything. There we go, one of them is killed. And what do we get? A shattered sun cloud, can we use that for anything? Yes we can. Because if I lighting storm, oh we can't do that same turn though. Because if I Shattered Sun Cloud then okay, went in for the phase here, then I could also then go for a Lightning Storm. I could also buff this one just to get it dead. But... Yeah, I'm thinking maybe another egg. And then go for the phase and the totem. That seems at least safer. Okay. Perfect, we get spell damage, so we can kill a lot of stuff. And from the Sunfury Protector, can we say that he has nothing in his hand? And we get hit twice. And we have nothing actually to get on the board. Hmm, I don't want to use these Lightning Storms though. So, oh, that, whatever I did there. Um, so we probably have to buff something here to get something to do happen. And... We could either buff an egg to get another 4-4, four, four, or we could buff one of these to get away with him. But then, uh, yeah. We don't have anything to make these eggs taunts, right? Anything like this one. So we may have to trigger them ourselves. The but I also really want to get these out of my way and out of away from the board. Mm. Oh, let's take this. And another totem. Healing totem. Which is something I really don't want, actually. Oh well. At least it only heals for one, so I can kill it that way. Okay, one of my totems are dead, and I get hit in the face again. Ah, okay, so Lightning Storm will get this one down to whatever health it would be, so yeah, let's do that, I like that idea. Four health, perfect, so we take a walk by on this one, and trade with these two, giving us two for fours, and go straight for the face, another totem being the taunt. I'll be back. At least we can kill this one without getting anything more on the board because we already have the seven. Not anymore. So I would go for buffing this one and try to get it killed 
and then just go straight for the face. Then hopefully we can kill the one three next turn. And that way we have cleared the board a little so we can actually play more stuff. Oh. So what, why not just do this? And then a lighting storm. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Killing, not killing one of them. Interesting. Well, then we do this. That way the taunts stay alive. And I hit him in the face. That's not that hard. Shadow bolts. My 4 4. Okay. He's still dead. Yep, my. Th that one? Okay. And the corruption. But ain't I still having enough damage to kill him? Let's see. 3, 7, 9, 11. Yes! Yes, yes. Just for the fun of it. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> Cause we can. There we go. That went quite fast. And we get the reincarnate and we leveled up to li with the shaman because I never play that one. I should though. I've just been playing mage pretty much all the time so that's that's why. Um, okay. We can get the void caller which is... Well it can potentially combo into great things but also it could be a pain in the ass because a lot of demons you don't want that battle cry to happen like the doom guard or some of the others but that 6-6 six, six, that deals one damage to everything whatever that one is called I can't remember right now that one you don't really want to have to happen in some situations you probably would want it also to be taken by the white caller but there are a few demons where I actually rather would want it to play it myself rather than having this Alarmo bot with free attack take it instead. But maybe that's just personal preference. In most cases this w could probably be very good I think. Well we're just going for the void caller of course. There's a corruption. That's a little bit of a waste I think but okay. Then we can take an unstable ghoul and yeah, we just hit one of them. We end our turn, it's dead. Next turn we can take a fell guard, maybe. Nah, I don't I don't like that. I probably would just take another unstable ghoul though. Yeah, I prefer to do that. Also, that fell guard is a great example for a good use of the void walker because that losing of one mana crystal is very irritating in the early game I think and because of that I'm normally only using it around the 10 mana point but this void walker should hopefully make it so that the fell guard is much more attractive in the early game. Really? Didn't know he had that. So, a Dread Infernal, that is, that, yeah, that was the one I was thinking of, that's the 6-6, six, six. that was deals all of that damage. So let's actually take the guard out because I want to slow him down. Let's keep hitting that one in the face, at least get it down to 4 uh, health. I'm not sure if there is a soul fire, but if there is one I would rather have it already at 4 health. Oh. I may not survive this. I have a doom guard, but then I will lose everything else here. I can at least drain life for this one, and then I have to end my turn taking 6 damage. Well, that's actually not that much. Oh, okay, so now 9. Then we can... The problem is just... He will just ignore my void caller. The same will he do with anything else I have, because he can pretty much just kill me, right? But I have to do something, yeah? So I guess with the Void Caller, because I don't want to lose all the cards with the Doom Guard. 
he soul fires. Losing a redemption, that's fine with me. And getting a Doom Guard without losing any cards, that's fine with me. I like that. And the Doom Guard makes me able to kill one of these two. That's great. Also, I could Demon Fire it and kill the other one. That's maybe also preferable. Hmm. I actually like that, but it's going to die, so it's just a little bit of a waste maybe of a Demon Fire. So maybe instead just take a White Walker and then Demon Fire that. That way it should survive. And yeah, because I have a Taunt up, I believe that I can survive, but I can't. Also, it was probably... Really? Damn it. Even though if... He yeah, I would have survived if he didn't have those two cards. Let's say it that way. But then again, I should probably have taken one of these two legendaries out. But let's try again with this pretty much old demon deck, I think. Actually, was there any spell? Well, there was that demon fire one. But um, yeah, this seems to be an only demon deck, really. I had that once, though, and they don't seem to be that good. So, well, let's see. What do we get here? We get a Doom Guard and the Joe Axis and the Void Call. Everything is getting. Though. Those. That is a cool combo, but. It's turn 4 or actually 5, and I would then only have one card here and have to rely on top decking. Is that worth it? To get a 315 out on the board? He's just going to corrupt it, so actually, no. A little drain life and void caller. That's that's better, especially Illidan as we can get a lot of minions out on the board. Hopefully, so let's take void caller. That goes going to die. Two more coil, fair enough. Giving him a card, and we get hit in the face for one. And we have nothing to do except getting ourselves some cards. Ah, a soul fire. So there is a soul fire in this deck. That's good to know. Then the question just is, what do we want to drain life? Or do we maybe want to take the Imp Master? It's, the Imp Master is going to be ignored. Also, the Imp Master is buffed, I think? Isn't just normally a 1-4. And that was a Repentance. Giving us pretty much just a 1-1 one, one for 3. So that was waste. I didn't even see that secret actually. Should be I should pay more attention. So we got another secret. Probably an uh, another repentance. Maybe something else. I didn't see if it, uh, that one was top decked. But let's go for a void caller. That was another repentance. But that that's fine because it's going to die then. And let's. Actually, we can. Do I want? Well, we only got one Stormwage, so we probably, and we could also get some other Void Callers when it dies. So maybe just. Do I want to kill one of, or get some of them down in health with this Soul Fire? No, I don't think so because I could also lose the Drain Life, which is the only way I right now am able to kill it, kill one of these legendaries immediately. Now I can't anymore. I'm going to trade. Yes, there's one. And there's Illidan. Perfect. Which is going to be soul fired together with the wound blade. That's at least something good. And there's another one dead. So we can s void call. Followed by a soul fire to this guy. Losing the other void call. That's fine with me. So it di when it dies, we get an unstable ghoul. That's, that's not really... Something that is what we want, but wait a minute. Oh, the ghoul isn't the demon. Good to know. Shouldn't have played it then. So end our turn with that one. He's just staying with the buffs. But yeah, corruption, okay. 
Hit me in the face. Hit me in the face? Yeah. But I'm... I think I have it. Deal 4 damage to a minion and Dwayne laugh. That's 6. All in all. Yeah, I can't trigger that. Death rattle. So we pretty much have to go for this. To go with this. And this. And that. In that turn, that one dies because of the spell. No death rattle doing and nothing, but we get the cut. He draws some cards, but that's fine with me because I can pretty much just take a red infernal arm, and he can't get back from this position. He has to in some way kill it, but I can't see how. He, only if he has a soul fire or something, or a shadow bolt. Well played. So now we... Ah, okay, that boom blade is just destroyed, so that's fine. So let's take the fell guard and an unstable ghoul. And that's only for a minion, and I'm not going to tap. Because something is probably going to go wrong now. Like a shadow word pain. Killing that. And drawing some cards. Silence on that one. Well, it's still going to hit him. So that's there's not really any difference from what happened the other time. Deal two damage to a character if that kills it, summon a random demon. Oh well, since that one isn't dead, that's fine. And consecrates, so we can bane of doom this time, but it feels like a little bit like a waste though. Also, it's dead now. Okay, send demon. So we finally get stuff again. A doom guard. I like that. And Joe Axis. So I guess I don't want to. Can he kill me? If he has a soul fire and can kill me, doom guard can't kill me this turn. And I can't bane of dooms at the same time. So I guess I end my turn and hope he hasn't anything to kill me. A wound blade? Ah, oh, damn. I completely forgot that that wound blade is buffed when there are no of the four horsemen on the board anymore. Oh well. But we couldn't get back from this anyway. He would just have swing swung for the face, even though I had the doom guard out. But we were pretty close, I'd say. We were, we were technically one away from killing him. Sacrificial Pact, that's fine, I like that. Those aren't demons, does he have any demons he played? I don't think so, we have the Imp Master to uh, combo it with. All those demons that are made with that. And we have an Unstable Ghoul to slow things down, that's fine, I like that. That's potentially 2 damage to every Legendary here. And we have nothing. Turn one. Come, Zeliac. Let us have our fun. Secret. Hopefully that's not a repentance, but I can't really on, hope that it is anything. Uh, yeah, these are not demons. So let's hope for it, that it is not a repentance. It is not. Good to know. So one of them are going to get back when they're dead, I guess. Corruption. Okay. So he's not going to kill it or what? No, interesting. Well, we get to go for the Imp Master, not the Sun Demons, and we hit one of them in the face. Oh, Death Vital still triggers, good to know, I should have thought about that. And that one is killed, I should have gone for the Sun Demons then. Because now I'm in trouble. Ow. Ouch. Hmm. Void caller. Yes. The bell cry isn't triggered, right? So let's try this. There we go. I like that. How is he responding to that? Just ignoring it? 
Yes, yes. Okay. Sweet. Can we? We can't bane of doom actually, right? So if I do this and then this, then it should summon a demon. Perfect. That gets yeah. There's an avenge, and it also gets back to life, right? Yeah, we go. We end our turn, of course. Consecrates. Well, that's still a long way before that Joe Axis is dead. If we drew a Dread Infernal now... <laughs> Perfect! Man. Okay, so let's hit that one for a little and then go for a Dread Infernal. That one is now one down to one health. My Axis is still... has a lot of health, I'd say. My Dread Infernal is dead immediately. That's... that's sad. My Axis too. Oh! Yeah, I didn't think about that. At least he, uh, he just dot top deck that, so that's something. Does this deck have mortal coil? No. Okay, let's then send demons. That gives me another void caller and another. Really, really. Void caller. Fall god. We have to end our turn. We have to. We'll take one. Six damage. Well, we're still alive, but I'm not really sure how m for how long or if this is even possible to get back from. At least he doesn't have any of the buffs, so that's something. So let's go for Felgard and the Void Caller and the uh, that one too. Why not? We end our turn. Try to slow him down. Okay, he buffs now. He kills one of the taunts. Oh. Huh. Okay, interesting. Interesting way to do it. Okay, do we want to demon fire in some way? This one would then have five to be able to deal five damage. Yeah, I think so actually. But can I then kill this one? I can't. Right? No, I can't. So if yeah, if I deal two damage to that one. Perfect. Then I go for this one and this one. End my turn. My taunt dies. He goes straight for the face. Deals five damage to me. Oh. Ouch. Are all those buffs? Oh yeah, because it always also get buffed by that. I can't use that for anything. So I guess I have to say GG really. Yeah. There's nothing I could do. I would need a taunt or something. Huh. Well, I guess it's just because I have a really bad card draw. I mean, think back to what I had at the end of the game, right? It, I had like three white walkers. I, no one needs that many. I need some other demons that I actually can use for something. I don't want the white walkers to summon white walkers. Soulfire. Sweet, Void Caller, no, and Bane of Doom, I oh, so. I need some low mana cost cards. None of these are what I was looking for. You are on something? No. We'll end our turn. We can always soul fire later. And we take the three damage, as always. That is hopefully not a repentance, as always, it was, damn it, well we end our turn, and it is killed, dealing two damage to one of them and one damage to the two others, yep, and another secret, probably top decked, and probably, or maybe a repentance, most probably a repentance, so we shouldn't play this one. Should I go for that? That one I should go for. Then I can still fire it. Losing a void call. I can live with that. Oh, it was an avenge. Okay, that is actually a bit problematic. I should then have used the imp master. But how should I know? Okay, being of doom. Can't use that for anything. 
So, Imp Master. That one is though, probably going to be killed now. Although, although it is only one damage, so he's probably got, just going to ignore it. No, he's not. No, he's not. Damn it. Hmm. So let's... No, because that's my only for my hand. So I have to end my turn. And I have to wait to use a sacrificial pact until I actually have something in my hand. Except if he, of course, begins just to kill it. And not ignore it. That it's actually a bit of a problem that he's suddenly trading a lot. Because I'm not used to the AI doing that. Until now they've only been pretty much trading. Or... Oh, Pretty much just going going for the face all the time. Okay, model calls my fell guard. Okay, that way that one is at least dead. Then I can either Doom Guard or Bane of Doom next turn. I would probably want Bane of Doom. It will give me one demon and it will also kill that, but then it will oh damn. At least it doesn't have the buffs anymore, so that's good. Um do you want to sacrifice official pact? I don't think so. I would rather do that together with a void caller. Because with that I would then have most likely a doom guard out and that way I will have a doom guard for four mana and most importantly I will not pay and with any of those two cards, which is the main thing that I'm right now concerned about because I'm pretty much three cards against what 10. Yeah. Maybe I have to sacrifice a pact already just. Also I could though go for this. That's why oh, well Hmm. Go for that. Then end that turn. At least I'll keep him away. Then we can kill. Yeah. So if I shadow bolt this one, then I doom gone. And then I hit him in the face. Then I end up in my turn. He can corrupt it, but that won't help. He can drain life, as he does. But that won't help either. Okay, if he does it twice and then soul fires, I guess. Or shadow bolts. That is irritating. But a lot of cards were used, so... But then again, that was three cards technically for three cards, so... Let's take a void walker. And the Nilladen. Okay, I should have taken the Nilladen first. Let's end our turn. Soulfire and Illidan and the Mortal Coil probably. Silence. Well, that's fine with me. Shadow of Pain on the Taunt. Okay. Also not a problem. And a Corruption. Yeah, that that's that don't won't help you. That won't help you either. You need a Mortal Coil. And you don't have any. <laughs> Bam. Okay, it took a longer time than it was probably necessary, but I believe it was more because I had some unlucky dwarves than anything else. But then again, just blame it on the dwarves is pretty stupid. Okay, but we get the void callers. We can see that they can be very useful for things such as the Doom Guard. But uh, there are also something like that Dread Infernal that you, where you would want actually to play it yourself. For that battle cry. So there are only two wings left. And I'm going to do them. As fast as possible of course. But until then. Thanks for watching. See ya.